Chilling new video of the Navy Yard shooter. You see the gunman here stalking the halls in search of his next victim. ABC's Pierre Thomas is in Washington with more. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, Robin. The images are disturbing. In those recent mass shootings, we've not seen the ugly reality the victims faced in their final moments. Today, we do. They are the haunting final moments before Aaron Alexis begins his killing spree, all captured in chilling living color. We first see Alexis just before 8 a.m., showing his entry pass before being waved in by a security guard. He drives into this parking garage and moments later walks into the Navy Yard through the front door of Building 197. It's 8.08 a.m. No metal detector, no bag check. Somewhere hidden, he's carrying this sawed-off shotgun. The FBI says he goes to this bathroom stall on the fourth floor, takes out the weapon, and re-emerges, intent on killing. He's armed, peeking around corners, checking doors, looking for someone, anyone to ambush and murder. Slow down the tape. He appears methodical, calm, driven. He moves quickly down this stairwell and then watch as he ducks behind a wall after spotting potential victims at the end of the hall. Look at the body language. His intent is clear. He's hunting. Mr. Alexis was a mentally unstable individual and he was able uh, to obtain a firearm uh, two days before he carried out attack. On the shotgun, Alexis carved, end to the torment, better off this way, and my ELF weapon. Alexis held a delusional belief that he was being controlled by extremely low frequency, or ELF, electromagnetic waves. On computer files in his backpack, the FBI discovered his final message. Ultra low frequency attack is what I've been subject to for the last three months. And to be perfectly honest, that is what has driven me to this. This meant killing 12 innocent people and wounding four more. The release of the video is sparking some controversy. At least one family telling CNN overnight they were angry they were not told beforehand.